I'm Troy Kirby with the Auburn Examiner with a quick update on the Auburn City Council. The Auburn City Council study session for May 24th covered the city's housing action plan, environmental review, and solid waste charges. Ordinance number 6816 relating to the city's solid waste collection charges was discussed. Just wanted to remind council that back in November of 2020, you had adopted our new waste management um, contract. They are going to be our solid waste contractor beginning um, in October of 2021 with our new solid waste contract. Um, we've been holding off on a utility rate study for our solid waste fund, really waiting for this new waste management contract to um, go into effect, knowing that it was going to be a major driver in our utility rates moving forward. So after council adopted the new waste management contract in November of 2020, we engaged with Sound Resource Management, who has been doing our rate study for our solid waste fund. They do solid waste our utility rate studies for um, other municipalities um, throughout the region. And with that, I'm gonna hand it off to Joan. She will talk to you about um, the work that they've been doing with our rate study, as well as a lot of elements with our new service contract um, with waste management, considering they are such a large driver in the utility rates um, that we are going to be proposing. Um, the last solid waste rate increase was January 1st of 2014. And we have uh, met with sound resource management over the years since um, periodically checking how our fund balance is doing, but the rates that we set then, uh, you know, perform better than expected. Also, the economy was very strong. Solid waste uh, follows the economy. And so it just, it gave us the ability to absorb um, the increases to service costs as they came, because as a city that sets its retail rates, um, we were able to absorb the 16.3% waste management uh, consumer price index increases since that time. There was also two different uh, King County tipping fee increases. One was 12% in 2017, another was 4.7 in 2019. You know, we our city rates, we kind of call our retail rates. And then we have our contractor rates, which we pay waste management, we call our wholesale rates. So having this fund, as I talked about, lets us you know, have a little flexibility and when we as a city choose to to change rates and how much we need to change rates, depending on how, how our fund balance is doing. One thing is the city utility tax. Um, as many of you know, it increased this year from 7% to 10%. Um, we also have a consumer price index estimation of 3% per year. Not only is that for waste management's contract services, but our city administrative costs as well. So King County tipping fee, increases. Right now we're at $140.82 per ton. Um, the rate study that is going uh, through to uh, Dow Constantine right now is um, uh, projecting about $154.02 for January 1st, 2022. Um, and then they have projected $168.45 for 2023. So I've already touched on the new contract rates. Um, again, uh, waste management's proposal was $500,000 less than Republic Services, but still um, there was a lot of factors that went into these higher rates, um, especially COVID had just hit when rates were, um, proposals were due in, in April. Um, and so um, there's also significant program changes. Uh, the city right now, we do our own customer service and we do the billing for solid waste. We are handing those over to the hauler. Ordinance number 6822, allowing the city to restore an inadvertently omitted allocation of tax revenue to the established city fund was discussed. It is actually not um, a change so much as a correction that we had unintended, um, made the unintended error um, in one of a series of corrections that we've made to this um, code over the past year. So to give you some background, history on this code. This um, We're proposing to make an amendment to two sections of Auburn City Code. One is on the utility tax for the water and sewer um, services that the city provides. And the second amendment is to amend the utility tax language for the solid waste um, services provided by the city of Auburn. A presentation on the State Environmental Policy Act and Environmental Review was provided to the council.
So at the state level, SEPA is a hierarchy. It starts with the statutory rules that govern SEPA under the RCW, then in the WAC, which governs SEPA procedures, and finally implementation at the local level. The city's implementation of SEPA is codified in chapter 1606 of our city code. And finally, a document related to the Housing Action Plan under a State Department of Commerce grant was discussed. And in this, in this project, we've got sort of these key pieces, public engagement, demographic analysis. One of the really key things are looking at future housing need is a, a population forecasts and identifying housing needed through 2040. But in general, it's, it's, it's a way to talk about housing affordability across different household sizes and household types. 80% AMI category here. Um, and looking at a family of uh, a household size of two or family size of two. So 80% of AMI means 80% of area median income. And what that means in terms of annual income for a two person household at 80% AMI is that household earns up to $64,200 per year. And uh, we can't can afford in terms of what we call affordability of 30% threshold, um, $1,605 per month in monthly housing costs. Thank you for watching the Auburn City Council Update presented by the Auburn Examiner.